Hey friends and welcome back to And Then There Was Style, your YouTube home decor channel. If you haven't had a chance to, please go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And while you are there, definitely take a look at some of our older videos. Sure to find something you like. All right guys, so thanks for coming back today. We have a special video for you today. Let's talk about the Japandi style. Now we've spoken about this home decor trend many times before, but we are really just going to dive deep and show you what the whole home is. Now, if you're wondering about this style, the Jap of course comes from the Japanese influences and the Andy comes from Scandi. So basically, this home decor style is a fusion of Japanese and Scandinavian. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's start off by looking at some Japandi style living rooms. All right, friends, so there's a reason that we're starting with the living room when it comes to Japandi home design and home decor style. The living room is really the room to let this style just really shine and just really put it on display. Now, there's a couple of things that you will notice. One, the new, the usage of natural materials in this style. So Japandi interior design celebrates sustainability and natural materials. You'll see wood you'll see bamboo hemp stone marble linen you'll see all of these things now one thing I did want to point out is even when you see nature like when you see usages of elements of nature you aren't going to see big really full bouquets of flowers you're going to see pompous grass you're going to see branches you're going to see elements like that also keep in mind that minimalism is both popular in the Japanese influence and the Scandinavian side of the influence so it's a really major important part of creating any Japandi space make sure to incorporate really clean sleek lines and curves that are visually pleasing to the eye and avoid super bright vibrant colors complex design and really anything that creates clutter it's all about a sleek minimalistic design and style with very little clutter it just definitely makes a statement a Japandi living room should be a practical open space that flows well and it's really, even though this sounds so cliche, it's a pleasure to use. You want to increase the functionality of the space without compromising on that minimalist aesthetic. So we all know that the kitchen is truly the heart of the home. And to create the perfect Japandi style kitchen, you're basically going to go with the neutral minimalist kitchen and then you're going to throw in accents of nature, a little bit of earthiness, and it's just going to provide you with that calm, serene inspiration that you need in your kitchen. So if you want to try to create a Japandi style kitchen at your home, go with a simplistic white kitchen with natural wood details. Now, whether those details are the cabinets, the accessories, the chairs, the island, whatever it is, it will definitely aid you in creating the look that you're going for. So it's important to note that even though it's important to look and see what you do see, those light colors, those hints of wood, it's equally as important to look and see what you don't see. You don't see a lot of clutter. You don't see a lot of canisters on the cabinets. It's really a clean background, a clean canvas. That's really the art of this Japandi style. Everything is in its place and everything has a place. So a lot of people don't talk about bathrooms, right? It's seen as a really dirty type room because of everything that goes on in there. But really, I feel like it should be flipped. The bathroom is the room to rejuvenate yourself. It's the room you go to to relax, to unwind, to soak in a nice soothing tub and let today's stress and craziness float away. 
and a Japandi style bathroom is perfect for that. Because of the calmness that is just really evoked by the home decor style you've chosen, it's naturally calm, it's naturally serene, it's naturally tranquil, and once you go in there, you take on those attributes yourself, you can soak in your tub without stress. So once again, we're seeing a lot of the same things. We're seeing a light color. We're seeing the pops and accents of woods. We're seeing a, a little bit of greenery here and there. We're seeing a basic color palette. And we also are seeing lots of light flowing in. It's a very chill zen space. So I personally feel like a minimal style like Japandi is perfect for a home office. There's an old saying that says if you want to see a picture of someone's mind, look in the space that surrounds them. And what that means is if your space is really cluttered, a lot of times your mind is cluttered. You have a lot of things going on and no will real way to just really process them and organize them. So that's why I always feel like a minimalistic space is perfect for a home office. Even if the rest of your home is really just a reflection of you, just having your home office organized and everything with a place works out great. Enter the Japandi style. Now we are talking about a home decor style that centers around everything having a place, everything being super organized and not having a lot of, I won't say useless things, but excess things. That's why it's perfect for your home office. You can work diligently, you can stay organized, you can stay on track and on task and get everything done. And then once you leave your home office, you can go out and have a whole maximalist house if you want to. I do think a minimal style is perfect for the home office. And last but not least, I wanted to give you some ideas for a Japandi dining room. Not much to say here, but if you're doing the rest of your home in Japandi, why leave the dining room out? And as you see, you see a lot of these telltale signs that we see of Japandi home decor. You see some neutrals. Sometimes you see it accented with some black. You see very non-ornate accessories around. You see a lot of the natural wood. You see a lot of natural elements. I mean, it's just a perfect style if you like this type. So I'm very curious, have you all ever had a Japandi style in your home? Do you think you would ever have a Japandi style in your home? The question of the day is coming up. I think every home decor style has some good to it. I can definitely see why people would fall in love with the Japandi style. Okay friends, so the question of the day is very simple. Is Japandi for you? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comment section. As always guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with other home decor lovers, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.